Today we are trying to get some good sounds out of this preamp. It's the Youth and Ketno Tube Man Plus. You may know uh, that I'm most of the time playing with my uh, Fractal Audio XFX3 or with other modeling units because I think nowadays they sound kick-ass. Uh, nevertheless, I have uh, quite a few uh, uh, analog preamps here, and some of them um, are not... Uh, I, I didn't check them out in, in depth. So uh, today I would like to um, show you this one. It's called the Tubeman Plus by using Ketna. I got some hair in my mouth. Ah, I hope it's my own. Um, anyway, this is a tube preamp and um, I'm playing it with my Schecter Banshee guitar with EMG 8185, very beautiful guitar, like Tatiana Ohm. And um, uh, the singer goes uh, straight into the uh, preamp and then from the preamp into my Alasis Quadroverb GT where I'm currently only using the delay and the noise gate. From there into my angle 2 power amp, it's a two, 250 uh, stereo power amp uh, with EL 34s and then it goes to my uh, Harley Benton uh, vintage cabinet, 2x12 cabinet with the vintage 30s, mic with an SM57. That is the sound you're hearing. <laughs> I don't know anything about that preamp, but I will try to explain what um, I think it is. So um, I think it's a um, basically what I would call a two-channel preamp. It has four modes, but um, you have only two gain controls and uh, two master controls. No, you have three master controls. Well, okay. But the two gain controls, for me, it makes a, a two-channel preamp. And um, so uh, one mode is called clean, one mode is called crunch, then you have uh, lead gain one and lead gain two. And the clean and crunch mode, they share one gain control, and the lead one and lead two, they share also one gain control. And you have a boost function, which is called mid boost. From my experience, it boosts the signal before it hits the gain stages. And um, yeah, you have a clean master, a crunch master, and a lead master. So you have three um, uh, master controls. And of course, some buttons where you can uh, uh, select the, the mode, one of the four modes. And you have one shared um, tone stack control, so bass, middle, treble, and presets. You don't have any resonance, and it has MIDI learned, so it's maybe MIDI capable. I don't know if you have to buy an additional MIDI interface for that, but um, if it's MIDI controllable, then maybe um, yeah, it's very flexible. 
And um, currently I'm playing in the lead one mode with Base Middle Travel Prisons at uh, 12 o'clock. <laughs> Mid boost is disengaged, and um, the uh, gain is uh, around two o'clock. And um, I can show you the difference between lead one and lead two because it's very drastic, I think. This is lead one and this is lead two. So um, lead 2 is way more scooped, has more bass and more highs. To me it's maybe, it sounds a little bit more American but it has to be dialed in very different from lead 1. So that makes it for me um, hard to use both because they share the same uh, EQ. So back to lead 1, let's engage the mid boost. So as I said before, maybe it's boosting the mids before it hit, it's, the signal is hitting the gain stages, so it's not a, a um, or with distorted tones at least, it's not a very drastic, uh, a drastic different sound, but it's more saturated. And that's what you want. Still doesn't sound good. Let's dial out some mids. Let's crank the gain. So this is maybe the uh, most gain you can get out of this preamp. Mid boost engage. And dial back the gain at nine o'clock now. Disengage the boost. Lead two. Still doesn't sound good. So, um, yeah, let's go back to lead one and set the gain to two o'clock. And I will show you the bass, middle, and treble control. So, starting with the bass. Mid, uh, middle. quite fitting the frequencies especially the mid control which I like to reduce a little bit uh, let's engage the mid boost uh, 
Okay, um, finally let's try to get the lead tooth uh, channel sound good, if that's possible. So it's way too much presence and bass. And dial it back. Drop the pick. Well, more gain. I dialed back the bass to 9 o'clock, the presence also to 9 o'clock, and the mids and treble are at 1 o'clock. So it's a nice lead tone, in my opinion. But if I um, switch back to lead 1 with that EQ setting, it doesn't sound that good. So I think you have to decide basically if you want to use lead 1 or lead 2. And uh, I personally, as I said, I prefer the lead uh, one. Has just the right amount of bass and highs, which is the key to a good high gain tone for me. And um, so let's check out the other two modes, clean and crunch. So uh, this is the. This is the crunch mode. The same settings uh, that I used for the lead one. Now at two o'clock, let's crank the gain. Mm -hmm. 
mid boost uh, was engaged, now it's disengaged. <laughs> Yeah, the gain cranked uh, at max now and the mid boost disengaged. It sounds good. Compared to lead one. Sorry. Compared to lead one. Yeah, it's the same voicing, just with less gain, which is something which I do pre prefer because um, if, if the voicing is changing from channel uh, to channel, then um, it's definitely not usable in a live situation. And um, so let's try out the clean uh, mode. <laughs> is disengaged but the gain is still at, ma at max it's very dynamic when I'm picking it's clean when I'm so let's compare it to the other uh, to lead one and the crunch. Yeah, I think, um, um, yeah, I think I understand maybe the architecture. It's maybe uh, it's a one channel and two gain stages and um, you have one gain stage in the um, clean and the crunch with the reduced input signal and the clean and, and then you have one more gain stage in the lead. That makes sense. I don't know. Maybe it's two separate gain uh, stages but um, at least they have the same voicing because they're sharing the same EQ now I dial, dial back the gain a little bit in the clean channel does just maybe boosting very narrow frequency range in the mids around maybe 700 hertz yeah so finally let's go back to lead one flexible preamp and um, also which is what is remarkable about that is that it has some great crunch tones 
which is uh, not the case with most of the analog preamps. Most of them, at least from my experience, they have good high gain tones. They have clean tones, which are sometimes uh, lacking of character a little bit, but um, at least you can get them clean. But to get good crunch tones out of a preamp is, um, yeah, it's difficult in most cases. But I think this one can do it. In the clean mode and also in the crunch mode. So. Dirty Marshallish uh, JCM 800 or Plexi Clean. Anyway, so uh, please post your comments below, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon. Bye.